I welcome you all for uh, module 3 lecture uh, 5. In this uh, lecture, we will be discussing about uh, the various aspects of positional tolerances and then we will see some uh, numerical uh, problems uh, to understand uh, the different kinds of uh, fits and uh, tolerances. Now, uh, we will move to positional uh, tolerance. Now, what happens is uh, in the manufacturing of uh, the work pieces, sometimes we specify uh, some drilled uh, holes and uh, we also specify the location of that uh, hole. Uh, in this case, uh, this uh, surface is taken as uh, datum A and this surface is taken as uh, B. So, the center of the hole that is to be drilled uh, has some uh, specification. This uh, distance uh, from this particular corner is uh, 3 uh, a millimeter and from here it is 7.5 uh, millimeter. And now, uh, in the drilling of a uh, hole exactly at that particular location as specified here may be difficult or it may not be possible because of various uh, reasons like inaccuracy in the machine tool or because of the vibration or because of the thermal uh, deformation, the tool, drill tool may not exactly coincide with uh, the specified uh, center. So, uh, it may deviate from uh, the specified center. So, we have to specify what is the deviation that is uh, allowed. So, that is done by uh, using uh, the positional uh, tolerance. Now, uh, we can see here this is the hole uh, that is to be uh, drilled and uh, its uh, values are given here. The diameter of the hole is 2.5 uh, millimeter and with some uh, tolerance uh, is also given. So, now what is the deviation that is allowed for uh, center? Uh, th that is mentioned using this particular uh, symbol. So, now uh, this uh, circle with the plus symbol, circle with plus is the symbol used for to specify the positional uh, tolerance and then uh, in this case it is uh, specified uh, by the deviation that is allowed is uh, 0.7 uh, units, 0.7 uh, millimeter. That means, uh, the center of the hole, this is the 0.7 uh, uh, millimeter okay, and the diameter within uh, 0.7 millimeter diameter, uh, anywhere the center can uh, lay, satisfying this uh, maximum material uh, condition. If we enlarge this portion, say this is the uh, required uh, center, desired center is uh, this one which is specified by 7.5 units and uh, 3 units with reference to A and B. Now, the positional tolerance is given as uh, uh, 0 0.7 uh, units. That means, the drill uh, can go here or the center can move anywhere uh, within this particular uh, circle. Now, because of this what happens is say we have uh, uh, some patterns like this, we have to draw say three holes. Now, because uh, the center will be varying, uh, so this is uh, the center for A, hole A and this is the center for uh, hole B. Now, we have the tolerance, positional tolerance for this uh, hole A, positional tolerance for B, similarly positional tolerance uh, for C. What happens is the center uh, can vary anywhere here, say the uh, hole is uh, drilled at this particular, taking this uh, center within uh, the positional tolerance, then we get the hole like this. And in the second case, the center is taken somewhere here and the hole is drilled like this. Then, uh, when we join these two centers, uh, we get the line uh, like this. There may be 
some angle between the desired uh, 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 location and uh, the actual location there is some uh, angle. If this is within uh, the allowed uh, tolerance then uh, it can be accepted. Now that is what I have shown here the patterns of holes. So, we have uh, the hole that is to be drilled and this is the positional tolerance for the center. Similarly, we have four holes and uh, depending upon how the, the center of uh, the hole varies, we may get uh, the patterns uh, like this. And then sometimes what happens is height is also important. Now, you can see here this is the positional tolerance for the center of the hole in this particular uh, plane, in this particular plane. Now, when we consider the height, now we get a cylinder like this. So, within this volume, the center point can lay anywhere. That means, now when the second uh, uh, hole you can see here, the center of the hole is at the extreme uh, end. That means, instead of this is the ideal condition where uh, the desired uh, center and the actual center they are coinciding and here there is a uh, deviation from the desired uh, uh, position. That means, center is of the hole that is drilled is uh, here and in the in this case uh, the, there is angle, but again uh, the center is uh, within uh, the allowed deviation. Uh, if it is uh, within the allowed deviation then we can accept uh, the work piece. This is, uh, the true position and this is uh, the uh, extreme uh, attitude axis of the actual hole uh, uh, that is drilled. We will solve some uh, numerical uh, problems on uh, uh, fit and uh, tolerances. Now, this is the first uh, problem. So, wherein uh, the basic size uh, given is uh, 25 uh, millimeter and this uh, diameter it falls in the diameter step of uh, 18 to 30 millimeter. Uh, so, we can find the mean diameter using this uh, relationship square root uh, under square root d 1 uh, times d 2. So, the mean diameter is 23.238 uh, millimeter and then we can find uh, the tolerance uh, unit using this uh, relationship. So, we have to feed the value of uh, d in uh, millimeter, then we get the tolerance uh, unit that is 1.307 uh, micrometers. Now, uh, uh, for H 8 hole from table uh, 5, we find that uh, I T 8 tolerance uh, grade is uh, I T 8 and for this I T 8 tolerance value is 25 times I. So, uh, we have this 25 times I is equal to 1.307. So, tolerance uh, value for the whole H 8 hole is uh, 32.75 micrometer or uh, 0 0.033 millimeter. Now, we know that for uh, H hole that is whole basis uh, uh, um, basic uh, shaft basic hole we have the fundamental deviation uh, is 0. Now, uh, for shaft uh, D 9 from table 5 I T 9 is equal to 40 I. So, tolerance value for D 9 uh, shaft is 40 times I, I is 1.307. So, this will give us 0 0.0523 millimeter. So, for uh, D 9 shaft fundamental deviation that is upper deviation uh, from table 4 is equal to minus uh, 16 times uh, d power uh, 0 0.44 uh, micrometers. So, we have to feed the value of uh, d that is 23.238, then we get the fundamental deviation of uh, uh, minus uh, 63.86 micrometer or minus 0 0.064 uh, millimeter. Now, we can find uh, the limits for hole and shaft. Uh, the limits for uh, hole that is upper limit, uh, upper limit for uh, 
uh, lower limit for hole is uh, 25 uh, millimeter because it is coinciding with the basic size and upper limit is uh, to the lower limit we have to add the tolerance value then we get uh, the upper limit that is 25.033 millimeter. Similarly, we can find uh, uh, limits for shaft, uh, lower limit is uh, 25 uh, millimeter that is the basic size. From this we have to deduct uh, the fundamental deviation as well as uh, the tolerance uh, value. Then we get uh, the lower limit for uh, the shaft 24.884 millimeter. Similarly, we can find the upper limit uh, for the uh, shaft. So, for getting that this is the 0 line and uh, this is uh, the basic size 25 millimeter. From this we have to direct a fundamental deviation that is 0 0.04, then we get the upper limit for the shaft that is uh, 25 minus uh, fundamental deviation of 0 0.064 will give us 24.936. So, this is the upper limit for the shaft. So, pictorially all the values are shown here, this is a H8 hole with the tolerance of 0 0.033 uh, millimeter and uh, this 0 line indic uh, this distance indicates the basic size and if we to the basic size if we had this uh, tolerance value we get upper limit for hole that is 25.033 millimeter. Similarly, we can find uh, uh, the upper limit for shaft as well as uh, lower limit of uh, shaft. Now, we can uh, calculate uh, the minimum clearance and the maximum uh, clearance. Now, we can see we get the minimum uh, clearance uh, by subtracting uh, the upper limit of the shaft uh, from the lower limit of the hole that is uh, uh, it, that is nothing but uh, fundamental uh, deviation. Uh, which is equal to 0 0.064 is also equal to allowance value. So, minimum clearance is 0 0.064 millimeter and then to get the maximum clearance what we have to do is we have to add uh, tolerance value for uh, shaft, fundamental deviation value and tolerance value for the hole. Then we get uh, the maximum clearance of uh, 0 0.149 millimeter. Now, we will move to the second uh, problem. Uh, 50 H 7 uh, P 6. So, basic size is uh, 50 millimeter and uh, the this falls in the diameter step of uh, 30 to 50 millimeter. So, we can calculate the mean diameter which will be equal to 38.7 uh, millimeter and then tolerance unit we can calculate using this relationship. Uh, we have to feed the value of d that is 38.7 uh, millimeter in this equation, then we get tolerance uh, unit is equal to 1.559 micrometer. And then for uh, H7 hole from uh, table number 5, the tolerance uh, grade is uh, IT7, uh, for this tolerance value is 16 times i. So, where i is uh, tolerance uh, unit with the value 1.559 micrometer, then we get uh, tolerance uh, for hole that is equal to 0 0.025 millimeter. Now, for H hole fundamental deviation is uh, 0. So, now we can find uh, the limits uh, for hole, lower limit is equal to 50 millimeter and upper limit for the hole is lower limit of the hole plus uh, tolerance. So, that will give us 50.025 millimeter. Now, coming to the shaft, we have uh, shaft uh, P6 from uh, table number 5 uh, for tolerance grade 6 that is IT6, uh, we get uh, a tolerance value of 10 times uh, I, where I is uh, uh, equal to 1.559. So, we get uh, 15.59 uh, micrometer as the tolerance. So, tolerance for the shaft is 0.0. .0. 15 millimeter. Now, fundamental deviation for P shaft from table number 4 is equal to IT 7 plus 0 to 5. Now, I am taking only this uh, IT 7 plus 0. So, 16 times I, I is equal to 1.559, this is equal to 24.94 micrometer. 
which is uh, nothing but 0 0.025 uh, mm. Now, uh, from uh, table number 5 for P6 uh, shaft uh, that is uh, the IT grade number is 6. So, IT6 is equal to 10 times I. So, this will give us 0 0.015 uh, mm. So, this is the tolerance uh, value for the shaft. Now, limits uh, for the shaft. So, upper limit we can find by adding the basic size and the fundamental deviation and the tolerance uh, value that is basic value, basic size is 50 millimeter and the fundamental uh, deviation is uh, 0 0.025 uh, millimeter plus uh, tolerance uh, value is uh, 0 0.15 millimeter. So, when we add uh, these numbers we get uh, 50.040 millimeter as upper limit for the shaft. Similarly, lower limit for the shaft is equal to basic size plus uh, fundamental uh, deviation. So, basic size is 50 millimeter and fundamental deviation is 0 0.025 millimeter. When we add these two values, we get uh, 50.025 millimeter and this is the lower limit for the shaft. Now, all the values are uh, pictorially shown here. This is the zero line with reference to which all other dimensions are shown here. This is uh, the basic size uh, 50 millimeter and uh, we have this H7 uh, hole where the deviation is 0. So, the lower limit of the hole is equal to 50 millimeter. We have to add this uh, tolerance value for hole to this basic size to get the upper uh, limit. Now, similarly, we have calculated the lower deviation for the shaft P6 shaft that is equal to 0 0.025 millimeter and uh, the tolerance for uh, the P6 shaft is 0 0.015 millimeter. Now, we can observe that here the maximum size of the hole is equal to the minimum size of the shaft. That means, uh, the interference uh, is equal to 0, it will just uh, slide, there is no gap between uh, uh, hole surface and the sh uh, shaft uh, surface. By the application of a little pressure, so the shaft will move into the hole. Now, what is the maximum uh, interference? So, that uh, we get by max, uh, we have to deduct the minimum size of the hole from the maximum size of the shaft. That is maximum size of the shaft is 50.040 minus minimum size of the hole is 50. So, this uh, difference gives uh, 0 0.04 millimeter. So, this is the amount of maximum interference we get. Now, uh, we will move to the next uh, problem where uh, the whole shaft combination is uh, uh, 25 H 8 uh, M 9. So, the basic size is uh, 25 uh, millimeter and uh, this uh, falls in the diameter step of uh, 18 to 30 millimeter. So, the mean diameter is uh, 23.238 uh, millimeter and then we can uh, calculate uh, the tolerance unit using this relationship and uh, this will be equal to 1.31 micrometer. And uh, for H8 uh, hole from uh, table number 5, uh, IT8 grade is equal to 25 I and this is equal to uh, 32.75 uh, micrometer. So, tolerance value for hole is 0 0.033 millimeter. And uh, for H hole, we know that uh, fundamental uh, deviation is equal to 0. So, the lower limit uh, for the hole is equal to the basic size that is 25 mm and upper limit for uh, hole is equal to basic size plus uh, tolerance that is uh, 25 millimeter plus tolerance value is 0 0.033 millimeter then we get 25.033 millimeter. This is the upper limit for the hole. And uh, coming to the shaft uh, M9 from uh, table number 5, 
uh, for IT grade number 9, uh, the tolerance value is uh, 40 I, this is equal to 52.28 uh, micrometer which is equal to 0 0.052 millimeter. So, tolerance uh, for shaft is 0 0.052 millimeter and then the fundamental deviation for shaft uh, M from table number 4 is equal to I T 7 minus I T 6. This is equal to 16 times I minus 10 times I. So, if we feed the value of uh, I, uh, we get uh, fundamental deviation of 0 0.008 millimeter. Now, once we find this fundamental deviation and tolerance, uh, we can find uh, the limits for the shaft. That is the uh, lower limit for the shaft uh, is equal to basic size plus lower uh, deviation. That is basic size is 25 millimeter plus lower deviation is 0 0.008 millimeter and this will give us 25.008 millimeter. Similarly, upper limit for shaft is equal to upper limit for the shaft is equal to lower limit plus tolerance uh, value. That is uh, lower limit uh, for the shaft uh, is uh, 25.008 plus tolerance value is 0 0.052, then we get 25.060 as the upper limit for the shaft. All these dimensions are indicated in this uh, uh, picture. So, this is the basic size 25 millimeter and 0 line and uh, this is H8 hole with uh, tolerance value of uh, 0 0.033 millimeter and uh, this is the M9 uh, shaft with uh, tolerance value of 0 0.052 and the lower deviation is 0 0.008 millimeter and uh, the difference between the maximum size of the shaft and minimum size of the hole will give us the maximum uh, interference. So, that is equal to 0 0.060 millimeter and uh, the maximum clearance uh, we get by subtracting the lower uh, size of the shaft from maximum size of the hole. So, then we get maximum clearance of 0 0.025 millimeter. Now, from this picture we can understand that uh, there is a overlapping of uh, tolerance zone of hole with uh, the shaft. So, depending upon the actual size of the shaft and actual size of the hole, uh, we may get uh, interference fit or we may get uh, clearance, uh, clearance fit. So, this is a case of uh, transition uh, fit. Now, uh, we will move to the next uh, problem wherein uh, the basic size is uh, 60 millimeter and this uh, falls in the step of 50 to 80 and then uh, the mean diameter is 63.25 uh, mm and uh, we can find the tolerance unit using this relationship and when we feed this uh, 63.25 in the equation we get uh, tolerance unit of uh, 0 0.002 millimeter. Now, uh, for H8 hole from table number 5, the IT grade number is 8. So, IT8 is equal to 25 I. So, we have to feed the value of uh, tolerance uh, unit that is uh, 1.853 micrometers. Then we get the tolerance uh, value for uh, the hole that is 0 0.046 mm. And uh, we know that uh, for H hole, the fundamental deviation is uh, 0. So, upper limit for uh, hole uh, we can get by adding tolerance value to the basic size. So, the basic size is 60 millimeter and the tolerance value for the hole is 0 0.046 millimeter, then the upper limit for the hole is 60.046 millimeter. Similarly, for the lower limit for the hole is equal to the basic size uh, that is uh, 60 millimeter. Now, moving to the shaft uh, M9, the tolerance grade suggested for uh, the M9 shaft for M9 shaft 
the tolerance grade that is suggested is uh, IT 9. So, from table number 5 tolerance grade IT 9 is equal to 40 times I. So, tolerance value for uh, M 9 shaft uh, becomes uh, 0 0.074 millimeter. Now, uh, fundamental deviation for uh, M shaft for uh, that is nothing but lower deviation from table number 4. Uh, we can calculate by using this relationship I T 7 minus I T 6 this is equal to 6 times I this is equal to 0 0.011 millimeter. Now, after finding the fundamental deviation and the tolerance value for the shaft, now we can find uh, the limits for the shaft. The upper limit for the shaft is equal to basic size, basic size of the shaft plus uh, lower deviation that is allowed and then uh, we have to add the tolerance. So, then we get the upper limit for the shaft. That means, uh, the basic size is 60 millimeter and then uh, the lower deviation is 0 0.011 millimeter and then tolerance value is 0 0.074. If we add all these three values, we get upper limit to be 60.085 millimeter. Similarly, we can find the lower limit uh, for the shaft that is the uh, upper limit of the shaft minus tolerance. So, will give us the lower limit. So, that is equal to 60.011 millimeter. So, all the values are shown in this uh, pictorial representation. So, now we can uh, see there is overlapping of the zones. The tolerance zone for shaft is overlapping with uh, the tolerance zone for uh, hole. So, we have a transition uh, fit. So, now uh, we can find what is the maximum interference and what is the maximum uh, clearance. So, maximum interference we get by adding uh, the lower deviation and uh, the this uh, tolerance for uh, the shaft that is equal to uh, 0 0.085 millimeter. Similarly, the clearance uh, we can find by subtracting uh, the lower limit of uh, the shaft from maximum size of the hole. So, that uh, maximum clearance will be 0 0.035 millimeter. That means, depending upon the actual size of the hole and actual size of the shaft, we may get uh, interference fit or we may get clearance fit. Now, uh, we will move to the next uh, problem, wherein uh, the basic size is uh, 25 uh, millimeter and we are using a H hole with uh, IT grade of 8 and then uh, we have, we are using a yes uh, shaft with the tolerance grade of uh, 6. So, the 25 uh, basic size uh, it is in the step of 18 to 30. So, the mean diameter is 23.238 millimeter and then we can find the tolerance uh, unit by feeding the value of D. Uh, we get 1.31 micrometer as uh, the tolerance uh, unit. And then for H 8 hole from table number 5, uh, we are using uh, IT grade 8. So, IT 8 is equal to 25 I. So, uh, tolerance uh, value for the hole is uh, 0 0.033 millimeter. And for H hole fundamental deviation is uh, 0. So, the upper limit for the hole is equal to basic size plus uh, tolerance uh, value that is equal to 25 plus 0 0.033 millimeter which is nothing but 25.033 millimeter is the upper limit of the hole. And since the fundamental deviation is 0 for H hole, the lower limit for the hole is equal to basic size of the hole that is 25 millimeter. Now, moving to the shaft uh, S6, uh, uh, we from the table number 5, we have I T 6 is equal to 10 times I. So, this will be equal to 13.1 uh, micrometer. So, tolerance for shaft is equal to 0 0.013 millimeter. Now, uh, 
fundamental deviation for the shaft from table number 4, it is nothing but lower deviation, uh, this is equal to I T 8 plus 1. So, this uh, relationship can be used if the uh, diameter uh, mean diameter is less than uh, 50 millimeter. So, I T 8 is equal to 25 times I plus uh, 1. So, this is equal to 0 0.034 millimeter. So, this is the uh, tolerance uh, that is allowed on the shaft. And fundamental deviation for the shaft. Now, once uh, after finding the tolerance value and the lower deviation for the shaft, we can uh, find the lower limit uh, for the shaft and upper limit for the shaft lower limit of the shaft uh, is equal to basic size plus lower deviation. So, this will give the lower limit for the shaft that is uh, lower limit of the uh, that is basic size is uh, 25 millimeter plus lower deviation is 0 0.034. So, we get the lower limit of uh, shaft is equal to 25.034 millimeter and similarly, we can find the higher limit for the shaft. So, that we can uh, find by adding tolerance value to the lower limit of the shaft, okay. that is uh, lower limit is 25.034 millimeter plus tolerance value is 0 0.013 millimeter. So, higher limit of the shaft is equal to 25.047 millimeter. Now, uh, we can understand uh, that the lower uh, deviation, lower deviation for the shaft is greater than the tolerance value of the hole. That means, the lower uh, limit of the shaft is greater than the upper size of the hole. So, we are getting uh, an interference uh, fit here. So, the maximum interference uh, we can get uh, by adding uh, lower deviation to the tolerance uh, value that is uh, 0 0.047 uh, millimeter and minimum interference we can uh, calculate by subtracting the maximum size of the hole by the minimum size of the shaft that is 25.034 minus 25.033 millimeter this is equal to 0 0.001 millimeter. That means, there is an interference of uh, uh, 1 uh, micrometer. So, in order to fit the shaft S6 uh, shaft into the H8 hole we have to apply some uh, force uh, and then uh, we can get the interference uh, fit. Now, uh, we will uh, move to the next uh, problem uh, wherein uh, the basic size specified is uh, 25 uh, millimeter. So, in problem uh, 6e, we have calculated the I value that is uh, 1.31 uh, micrometer and uh, upper limit for uh, the hole H8 hole 25 H8 hole is 25.033 millimeter and lower limit for uh, hole is equal to 25.000 millimeter. So, these uh, values we have already calculated in uh, problem number uh, 6 e for 25 H8 uh, combination. And now, moving to shaft uh, U7, the tolerance uh, grade is I T7, this is equal to 16 times uh, I. So, we get the tolerance uh, value of 0 0.021 uh, millimeter and uh, fundamental deviation uh, for uh, U shaft is equal to I T7 and uh, this is equal to again uh, 0 0.021 uh, millimeter. So, after finding uh, the tolerance value for the shaft and fundamental deviation, now we can find the lower limit for uh, shaft 
this is equal to basic uh, size of the shaft plus uh, lower uh, deviation. That means, uh, the this is the shaft U 7 uh, shaft with uh, tolerance of 0 0.021 millimeter and uh, the lower deviation is 0 0.021 uh, millimeter. Now, uh, we can uh, find the lower limit for the shaft, this is equal to basic size of shaft is 25. Uh, to the basic uh, size, we have to add this uh, fundamental uh, lower deviation that is uh, 0 0.021 mm, then we get lower limit for the shaft that is 25.021 millimeter. And then to get uh, the upper limit of the shaft, uh, we have to add tolerance value to the lower limit of the shaft, then we get uh, higher limit of shaft to be 25.042 millimeter. Now, uh, all values are indicated on this picture. This is a H 8 hole with the tolerance value of 0 0.033 millimeter and uh, the lower uh, size of the hole is equal to basic size and uh, we by adding the uh, tolerance value to the basic size, we get upper limit of the hole and then the since there is a overlapping of uh, the tolerance zone for uh, U shaft with uh, the tolerance zone for H 8 holes, we have a transition uh, fit. Now, the maximum interference uh, we can uh, get by adding a lower deviation that is 0 0.021 mm with the tolerance value for the shaft. So, that is uh, equal to 0 0.042 millimeter and uh, by subtracting the lower uh, limit of the shaft from maximum hole size, we get the maximum uh, amount of uh, clearance that is equal to 0 0.012 millimeter. We will move to the next uh, problem. 25 H 7 U 6. So, the basic size is uh, 25 millimeter and uh, it is in the step of 18 to 30. So, mean diameter is 23.238 uh, millimeter and uh, the tolerance uh, unit can be calculated and it is equal to 1.31 uh, micrometer. For uh, H 7 hole, the uh, tolerance grade is 87, this is equal to 16 times i, this is equal to 21 uh, micrometer. So, tolerance uh, value for hole is 0 0.021 millimeter and for H hole fundamental deviation is equal to 0. So, the lower limit for hole is equal to basic size that is 25 millimeter and the higher limit for hole is equal to basic size plus uh, tolerance that is 25.021 millimeter. Now, moving to the shaft uh, U 6 from table number 5, the tolerance grade uh, suggested is I T 6. So, I T 6 is equal to 10 times I. So, tolerance value for the shaft uh, is uh, 0 0.013 millimeter. Now, uh, fundamental deviation for uh, the shaft uh, can U shaft can be calculated uh, by using this relationship which is available in uh, table number uh, 4. So, uh, the fundamental deviation varies from I T 7 to plus D. So, here I am taking only I T 7 only. So, this is nothing but 16 times i this is equal to 0 0.021 millimeter. So, now we can find the limits for the shaft, lower limit for the shaft is equal to uh, basic uh, size of the shaft that is 25 uh, millimeter and then we have to add uh, lower deviation that is uh, 0 0.021 millimeter, then we get lower limit of the shaft uh, as 25.021 millimeter. Now, uh, higher uh, limit for the shaft is equal to lower limit plus uh, tolerance uh, value that is uh, 
25.021 millimeter plus 0.013 millimeter, then we get higher limit of shaft uh, is equal to 25.034 millimeter. Now, all these values are indicated here. This is the basic size uh, 25 millimeter zero line and H7 hole with uh, the tolerance value of 0 0.021 millimeter and uh, the lower limit, lower deviation for the U shaft is 0 0.021 millimeter and uh, tolerance uh, value for U6 uh, shaft is 0 0.013 millimeter. Now, we can see here the lower uh, limit of uh, the shaft is equal to the upper limit of the hole. So, there is uh, the minimum clear minimum interference is uh, 0, there is no clearance and no interference and maximum difference uh, we can calculate uh, by adding uh, lower deviation with uh, the tolerance value for the shaft, then we get maximum interference of 0 0.034 millimeter. Now, in all these uh, uh, problems uh, we discussed about uh, how to find uh, the tolerance uh, value, then how to find uh, the fundamental deviation and then how to calculate uh, the tolerance uh, value for both shaft and uh, uh, hole and then how to find the limits for shaft and hole and then uh, how to calculate uh, the maximum uh, interference or minim, uh, maximum clearance or whatever it is. Now, we have taken the uh, examples of uh, different uh, basic sizes like 25 mm, 50 mm, 60 mm and then we have considered uh, the basic hole of H uh, with different IT grades uh, like IT7 and IT8 and also we have taken different uh, shafts uh, M shaft, uh, D shaft, P shaft, S uh, shaft, U shaft with uh, difference, uh, uh, different uh, tolerance grades of 7, 6, uh, 9 etcetera. So, uh, we have covered all the types of uh, the clearance uh, fits, all the types of fits like uh, clearance fit, transition fit and uh, interference uh, fit. In this uh, lecture, we discussed about uh, the positional uh, tolerances and what is their effect on the pattern of holes etcetera and then we also saw some uh, numerical uh, problems to understand uh, different kinds of fits in a better way. Thank you.